My name is Joshua Lessing, and I'm the Director of Research and Development at Soft Robotics. So I have a, a rather unconventional start in robotics. Uh, I'm actually a chemist by training, and I came into robotics when I started my postdoctoral work with Professor George Whitesides at Harvard University. And George Whitesides, he is one of the world's most famous chemists, and he not only does uh, work in chemistry, he really just does work in anything that he finds interesting. He's very, very innovative. And so when, when I was in his lab, he was you know, doing robotics. He was doing composites, molecular electronics, uh, water protein interactions, the origins of life even. Anything that, that he finds interesting, he works on. And he builds these cross-functional teams that are designed to come up with new ways of thinking about age-old problems. So in the case of soft robotics, he had people who were um, chemists uh, like myself, chemical engineers, people who understood uh, biomechanics, you name it, um, most of which were not conventional roboticists. Try to think about what would be a new way of building a robot. And uh, where we got to was you know, if you build robots out of rubbers and plastics and, and other kind of squishy materials, liquids, you get robots that, you know, astoundingly have all these new properties that are very, very interesting. So that was some of the stuff that I, I worked on in his, in his lab. And when it came time to commercialize the technology, um, I, I left to, to start that here with soft robotics. I, I've spent my career trying to do bio-inspired research. So um, early in my career, it was trying to develop uh, biomimetic catalysts so that the oil and gas industry could turn methane into ways of making nylon. You know, um, later on in my career, it was trying to study the fundamental uh, molecular properties behind elastin, which is the, the rubber that makes up the soft robots that are peoples and, people and animals, and it's a remarkable material. So you know, nature made the best rubber. How do we, how do we replicate it? And so moving here to the work at Soft Robotics, you know, nature has made the best uh, gripper ever conceived. You know, what can we learn about these biological systems and how can we incorporate their design principles and the things that we make? Just because, you know, they're, they're remarkable. They're, there isn't an incredible amount of computation that goes into the use of your hand. Not the kinds of computations that, that most roboticists are accustomed to in the systems that they build. But yet, miraculously, you can do far more th with this than you could with a, a normal robotic gripper. And part of that is, is embedded in the mechanical design. Uh, you know, the muscles and the tendons and the bones, all the stuff that's in, you know, compression, all the stuff that's in, in tension. You know, that whole mechanical structure, a lot of the smarts are just built into how it innately responds to the environment, even without you know active controls of, of moving your muscles. So um, you know what, what's exciting for me is having this possibility of delivering this astonishing capability of you know getting ever closer to this style of grasping through the technology that that we work here to build every day.